now, let's do the important shit here. The biggest problem with this place is it's so fucking difficult to find where you're going. It's okay. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Be at ease, sister. We're safe now. Almighty Duna. Let's get to know all these people so that when we kill them, it's so much better. That. Tell us what to do, brave Tears and Delius. The Black Ring are on the threshold, and yet they fear us. I know it. They fear who we are. They fear the elves. Hey, baby. The priestess is oblivious. Yummy. Instead, she's locked in frantic, desperate prayer. Oh, mighty Duna, save your children. Deliver us from the void. Oh, mighty Duna, save your children. Deliver us from the void. Oh, mighty Duna. Almighty Duna has blessed you with wondrous titties. That's why it's good to have all this money. Hello there, hopeful. I belong to Tears and Dilius. To whom are you sworn? Inside you, Ralik rumbles in protest. Can I interest you in a short discussion about the merits of Tyrson Delius, the poet of the woods, the god of the elves, and others? The being inside you rumbles a very clear no. Because, my friend, when I offered myself to her, she never answered. I was godwoken, and I failed her. But she, too, failed me. When she learned that I could not crush my own compassion, Zolstissa deserted me. She deserted all of us. I renounced her, and Tyrson Dilius came to me. He soothed me with his gentle words, and I was whole once more. He could do the same for you, if you would have him when you fail. Oh, if I had me second, if you had me, wouldn't be in a care. This is incredible. What a structure. Do, 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 do. Not since so closed. The tiger seems to be praying. I am the last of my hide, my stripe, my streak. All of us, but I fell dead in the mist when the true legs had their war. I pray to thee to bring us back to save us. She cocks her head to listen to a voice you cannot hear. If the Covenant be in good faith, O oh black-winged god, and all the forest tigers shall return, then I shall accept your... She opens her eyes and turns to you. Or what? Shall you kill me with your fog of death like you did my cousins? This is our only chance to live. You divine. As if. And even if you were divine, look at what the last one did. Lucian brought nothing but death to the forest. No, your word is worthless. She closes her eyes. A low growl rises in her throat. <sighs> they all shall die, my king. And I shall start. She stares directly at you and bares her teeth. With the she-man. Oh, you want to fight, eh? Alright. Typically, she gets pissed off when she sees Ephon. yourself.
Nobody blame it yourself on this one. Ghostly tiger bears her teeth at you, a triumphant glint in her eye. When the God King brings the forest tigers back, and we rise to rule, you shall be the first to die. For you, there shall be no return. A very angry tiger. Need to like over that. It's not good for you. Oh, look at this crowd up here. I wonder who this could be. No matter the cost, I will have your head, Seeker. Hmm. Do wait, wait, do you have? She needs that. Be at ease, Magister Rowe. Weapons down. Gareth, I have done you a grave injustice. I was deceived, and I was too weak, too naive to see it. Alexander holds his hands outwards towards Gareth, his blade resting flat across his palms, a gesture of goodwill and peace. Gareth notices your arrival and emits an alarming chuckle. Godwoken. Have you come to witness the death of the noble coward? How fortunate. You can tell the tale of Lucian's other wayward son. This slug defends his own cruelty on the basis of ignorance. He expects me to forgive him for everything he's taken from me. Every fallen seeker, every friend, every slain Godwoken, my own parents. He says this to me while their flesh still rots in the graves I dug for them. I've forgotten nothing. Alexander, you are the sinner, yet the gods have allowed us to suffer for it. I would kill you a hundred times over if given the chance. Gareth looks to you, then to Alexander. He digs his teeth into his lower lip. A lot of people do that here. From the tender skin. The silence is thick, yet neither Gareth nor Alexander move. You are not Damien. You are not Damien. Damien, my sins have been as great as yours, Alexander. I've just been too blind to see them. It's just... your father. You could forgive Alexander when I could not, Godwoken. I hope you show me the same kindness. I will meet you aboard the Lady Vengeance when you are ready. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of experience points. Okay, we're getting close. As you approach Alexander, Ifan catches you by the shoulder. You know how long I've sought Alexander. I need this. Understood. Ifan strides forwards and feints a punch at Alexander's nose with his right hand. <laughs> the Bishop raises his hands to protect himself, Ifan grasps both of his wrists and headbutts him. As Alexander staggers back, blood streaming from his nose, Ifan tightens his grip on Alexander's wrists and spits a question. Why? Why did you and Lucian send me on a suicide mission to kill the elves? Why did you lie to me? Alexander wrenches his hands free from Ifan's grasp and holds his broken nose, blood streaming between his shaking fingers. Why? The same reason we did everything. To protect the realm. What price all of Rivalon against just one portion? Any divine would do the same if it meant saving everything. You should be proud my father picked you. His best right-hand man. He knew you would make it, but he also knew that if he told you the truth, you would falter. He knew you well, Ifan. He knew you'd have to be tricked, but I'm his son. I can be trusted to the end. 
and I will take any actions necessary for the good of all. Nothing can stop me, not even death. Ifan draws his weapon. His hands are steady, calm, and controlled as can be. Just as he is about to move towards Alexander, he stops. He looks at you, and he shakes his head and looks away, striding with purpose towards Alexander. Death stops everyone eventually. You rose from the dead once. You won't rise this time. It's either a fight or not. He holds, looking you in the eye. As he lowers his weapon, he smiles a shrewd smile, all teeth and promise. For you, I can stop. For you, I can trust. I said, leave him alive, man. If you have something to say, sorcerer, just spit it out. My destiny was unveiled to me in the Hall of Echoes, at last. I realized how Dallas had been sabotaging me all along. She had her accomplice, Friedemann, pose as someone who could train me how to master my godwoken powers. But it was a lie. They sought to hinder, not help. While I was being occupied by Friedemann, Dallas began taking over the Order. I confronted them once I returned from the Hall of Echoes, and the pair of them tried to kill me. They must be Black Ring agents, tasked with preventing me from ascending. They won't succeed, though. I know what needs to be done, and I have good, loyal Magister and Paladin companions to help me see that it is done. I was born for this duty. You actually can have him in your party for a bit. My father groomed me to take his place, to speak for the gods. And make no mistake, divinity is a duty, not a reward. Others may be able to claim the mantle, but only I can shoulder the burden, the responsibility. Make no mistake, God Woken. I do not need to work with you. I will enter the council when I am fit and ready. But you are desperate. That much is clear. Make yourself of use to me, and I shall help you unlock the council. You must strike down the one who leads the Black Ring on this island. That is my... He's known as the Sallow Man. I wanted to get rid of him anyway. ...during the Great War. He's a wicked creature. A master of illusions who hides in the shadows and sends others to do his bidding. Alexander produces an old cowl and mutters an incantation. The cloth glows a cool blue for a moment before settling back. He hands the cowl over to you. My father concocted this charm so that he could face the Sallow Man in battle. The cowl has now been laced with its essence. Wear it, and he will be forced to reveal himself. Succeed, and perhaps you can join me inside the council. There we can see who shall be the next divine, once and for all. Yeah, you'll be dead, so it won't matter. Okay, now we're going to put that on Fane. It's not bad armor, it's just not great either. You're thinking the same thing. Alexander wants to be the new divine. We're talking about the same person, right? Trusting Alexander to be divine would be proof of madness. Far be it from me to judge the plain, simple mind that dwells within that man's skull. But, no. Simply, no. He hardly has his father's qualities. Besides, he's not to be trusted. But I'm in love with you. I don't know what that's got to do with this, but whatever. So, now it's time to get to the center of all this. And that's one thing I never remember. I th I'm pretty sure it's this. Godwoken, the mother tree calls you. Follow the spirit. Climb to the heart of the tree. The mother awaits. I love you. Now then. This area should definitely get us to... To level 17. Mother, 
You don't look well. Hi, baby. Mother tree. Her heart speaks through me. The mother asks you to help her. A lizard assassin stands near. A prince of shadows come to strike at the heart of the elves. He must die, this lizard as doombringer. And you must bring me his heart. The shadow prince is on this island, seeking our annihilation. He is the master of the house of shadows. He is a terror that breathes. Please, cut off its breath, then bring me its heart. He is a lizard. No doubt he slithers close to the temple of his fork-tongued goddess, Zol Stissa. I am the scion of the Mother Tree. Her heart speaks through me. The scion of the Mother Tree. Let me talk to her, please. She and I have business. The Mother is in danger. A shadow hunts her. That's going to be the Master. I think I could go for him first, because that'll actually give me two, two quests. Master of the House of Shad. Yeah, we heard this. Where is he? He is a lizard. Okay, we're gonna do that. I want to finish both these, both of these side quests. Look, it's Sahela. Hi, my love. It is so good to see you once more. I must speak with you. It is of the greatest importance. I am in Fort Joy, but I do not see you there. From the fort I escape, as you do. At last I see clearly. I know what must be done. The mother is sick. She is weak. Her grip slips at last. You make her so. You kill her scions. You are strong now, Sabil. You are prime scion. You are godwoken. This is a unique opportunity. The impossible is now possible. Kill her. Free us from her tyranny. Please, finish what you start. One more kill. You must strike at her heart. Do this for me. Do this for all of us. Set us free. You want the mother tree dead? Quite the change of heart since last we met. I love you. But now she is weak. I can speak truth. The mother stops progress. The mother stops lovers. Oh, well, we can't have that. The mother, the mother commands. The mother plots. The mother wants vengeance. She is hollow. But all elves want is to live. I know I can count on you, Sabil. You who loves her freedom above all. You must climb the temple to find the mother's heart. And then you must destroy it. Set yourself free, Sabil. Set us all free. We're going to do that. Let me just double check. I don't want to do that right now. Uh, the lizard spot is... That was the dwarves. Lizard spot's right by the... By Ralix. So let's take care of the the shadow asshole. And then, yeah. If we get rid of the shadow asshole, then we can bring the heart. That's where the Salaman is. We're going to get to that when we get to level 17. Which won't be much longer, actually. We're gonna kill all these assholes too. These black ring fuckers. Here are the dreamers in their dreams. So the first thing you want to do Right here? Alright, that's the dwarves. Well, actually, this has the hunger side quest tied to it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to get. You suddenly hear something in the distance. A strange but familiar tune. 
Sabeel frees it. You recognize it as her scar song. The master is near. A moment, years in the making. Soon, I will have my vengeance. She gives you a quick kiss on the cheek. I love you. And wish me good luck. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to detach these guys. Because there's a spot for both of them that's just really, really good. Yeah, no, this one's better. So get them up here. This way you can get rid of the prince really quick. At that point, you could I, I could just shift people. It's not a big deal. All right, let's save this. I mean, it's not that this is a... It's, it could be tough, but it doesn't have to be. One step, then another, ever closer. You can tell from her bearing, Sibyl has never been so ready to kill, so on the brink of impending action. She's like a cat, all concentrated muscle, that split second before it pounces. Another step, ever closer. The moment has finally come. She's found the master. The eyes of predators meet. Sibyl. He snaps his fingers, and she... God, I want you so bad, Sibyl. Here you go, breaking my heart. Speaking of hearts... Master mine. He sighs, sadly. I don't begrudge you your freedom, Sabeel. Your escape relieved me of having to witness your death by your own hand. The inevitable last command. I would have watched you, like I have all this time. Glad to see you live, sometimes even laugh. I'm very fond of you, you know. I am too. Not yet. Another snap. Different fingers, different sounds. Oh God, I want her so badly. She's bowing before him. Utter control. The tool of a tyrant, you think. But you're mistaken. Let me indulge you with an explanation. Everything I do, I do for a much greater good. The supreme example of this is you, Sabeel. She's the prime scion. It had to be her. The other scions knew and welcomed her. They sought out their own killer. It was all so very elegant. What I did had to be done, Sabeel. And I had to be the orchestrator, for I am the House of Shadows. I am the Fate Weaver. I am the Hand that guides a blind world. Sibyl slowly draws her needle. Time to get to the point. Mark, God, you're yummy. You still have the needle I gave you. How very gratifying. A fine instrument, is it not? Precise, exact, just like me. Just like you. You should know that I forced you to shed the blood of Scions because rather than a killer, it transformed you into a savior of untold millions. Here's the final truth, Sabeel. The true evil here is not me. It's you. The Mother Tree and her Scions do not seek to carve out their own part of peace in this world. They seek to carve out the whole wide world for themselves. They want their roots to conquer every last inch of Rivalon. World domination. The prevalence of one race over all others. That is what they desire. That is what I counteract. He died the day he met me. Death, death, death. Did I create a monster after all? I don't begrudge you your freedom, Sabeel. But you came looking for me, driven by no more ordinary bloodlust. All you see is red. You've lost sight of all reason. You know how the scar works. You know I have but to sing a single tune. You've no hope whatsoever of defeating your master. He sings. The scar song swells. A thousand tiny needles in Sabeel's soul, chipping away at her will. She looks at you with hope and defiance, gives the signal. You must sing the song. Your voice harmonizes with the masters. She would f attack you if you didn't. And then you would lose her faith. Dear me, you're a miracle worker. I'll take it from here. 
The patient cat finally pounces. She strikes precisely, exactly. Spears his vocal cords, filling his throat with blood. That should be enough to kill him. He staggers back, all a feared fury. This is it. It's time to kill the master. Before we do that, <laughs> he has a lot of servants with him. So... Like he's got like a lot of assassins with him, so that's what makes this a little bit difficult. But it's not excessively difficult. I mean, he's not really the issue, it's these fucking assassins. Like this one. That's okay, she's got a lot of juice. That's the problem, they keep hiding in the friggin' shadows. I guess the shadow prints, shadow, you know, all that stuff. Well, thanks for going level with me. Sniper can be a pain in the ass. Oh, will you fucking come on with this shit? <laughs> Man, 
miss? Really? Yeah, fine. The only thing, though, is... I think Boner Cage would be fine. Yeah, that did nothing. Okay, never mind. Oh, fuck you and your chameleon cloak. My god. Get him. It's right there. Yeah. That's it, sweetness. I got you for another turn. This fucker needs to fucking die. Who's up there with us? Thanks. <laughs> Dumas.
play that game. Fucking blind, are you fucking kidding me? She fucking misses that anyway, that's good. How are you still alive? <laughs> wow, just keep going, man. Sometimes that that dome of protection actually does more harm than good. Is he on fire? Level 17 yet? And it finally, all right, cool. Okay, let's take care of some things first. said I wanted to focus on constitution and I'm gonna do that now. Memory too. She has more than enough strength. Let me just see. Okay. No, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Base eight. Oh, that's the next level up. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's maxed out on wits, so we'll go with finesse. Range base eight, huntsman base seven. And you, intelligence. He's got 47 intelligence. I mean, that's mostly his, his gear, but... Alright, so... Save this. When I come back, we'll finish up this temple. We'll finish up the Elven Temple. And then it's really only, like, one more, I think. That's it. And we're, we're done almost with the Nameless Owl. See you then.